Thousands of people across the nation turned their attention to Virginia tonight for the 2016 vice presidential debate. Governor Mike Pence and Senator Tim Kaine laying out their plans and touching on several topics, including foreign policy, community policing, and immigration, all in an effort to win support from voters. The debate stopped being cordial almost directly after the handshake. There's a reason why people question the trustworthiness of Hillary Clinton, and that's because they're paying attention. I mean, the reality is when she was Secretary of State, Senator, come on. She, she had a Clinton Foundation accepting contributions from foreign governments. You, and you foreign are Donald Trump, uh, Trump's apprentice. Uh, uh, let, let me talk about this Senator, issue. I think, of the, of I think I'm still on my time. Well, Later, a following a question about Donald Trump about and whether or not he's paid his fair share of taxes. And when Hillary said you haven't been paying taxes, he said, that makes me smart. So it's smart not to pay for our military. It's smart not to pay for veterans. It's smart not to pay for teachers. And I guess all of us who do pay for those things, I guess we're stupid. Donald Trump must give the American public his tax returns to show that he's qualified to be president, uh, 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 and he's yeah. breaking his promise. Elaine, I have to respond to this. You get I mean, very little yeah, time. I'll, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be very respectful. Governor. Look, Donald Trump has filed over 100 pages of financial disclosure, which is what the law requires. But he said he and would release his tax returns. The American people can review that, and he's going, Senator, All right, he's gentlemen, going to release his I tax need to returns ask you about the audit social security. is over. R Richard, the Richard the Nixon released about, tax returns when he was under audit. They're raise your tax returns. Gentlemen, if you can't meet the Nixon standard, the people standard, at home cannot understand either one of you <laughs> when you speak over each other. I would please ask you to wait until it is that the other is finished. All right, Senator we're having Kane. fun up here. And that's pretty much how it went tonight. Uh, yeah. Lindsay, we saw a Tim Kaine tonight that we have not seen before here in Virginia in terms of his aggressiveness. I, I think this is going to be interesting yeah. to see. Uh, particularly, it's an interesting perspective for us as Virginians. We've seen him in public office for about 10 years now, and he was unrecognizable tonight. He was, he was very aggressive, right. and, and that's not the nice guy, Tim Kaine, that, right. that we've seen. How do you think that'll play with American voters? We'll have to see. I mean, because everyone else isn't used to seeing, you know, they don't know that he kind of plays the nice guy, and right. he's been, uh, you know, perceived that way in the media. And so I think it'll be interesting to see how, you know, the American people perceive that. Right, so the contentiousness, I think, is right. the number one takeaway tonight. The candidates uh, took pretty well-known positions tonight on issues related to taxes, immigration, and terrorism. Not a lot of new ground covered there. If you if you knew what you can where your candidate stood, I don't think that changed a lot tonight. Of course